Give a gentle stretch to your wrist, so flip your wrist like a pancake so your palms facing up, moving very gently. You can lean forward and then lean back to stretch the wrist. Now slowly flip your palms back, but rotate your fingers facing to the back of your mat, exercising your wrist mobility. on your right side and slowly lifting up your left leg into modified side plank. Stay here or moving to gentle back bend. Kick your left leg to the back, pointing your toes. Grab the ankle with your left hand and gently push your chest to the front. Feel the stretch on your shoulders and upper back. Release the leg and sweep your right arms to the back side. 
can catch your right ankle feel the chest expansion here maybe you can look up to come back to the center sweep your left arms to the right and return to your tabletop now second side right side sweep your right leg to the back flexing your foot reach your left arms to the front engage the core gaze down exhale bring your arms and legs to the side feel the deep stretch on your side body slowly plant your right leg to the right side toes behind your heels feel the nice stretch on your spine as you reach your arms to the front palms press firmly on the ground slowly moving your palms to the back grab your waist and reach your arms overhead as you inhale bending to the right as you exhale stretching to the side of your body gaze to the front inhale return to the center and with the momentum place your left palms down and kick your right leg to the side so your toes pointing forward to modify side plank same movement kick your right leg to the back grab the ankle into your gentle back bend inhale return to the center drop your right leg and sweep your left hand to grab your ankle or your heels for your chest expansion then inhale sweep your right arms and set your palms to your tabletop and exhale engage your core and come into your hover bending your knees slowly send your hips up flat your feet down into your first down dog in this practice you can pedal up your feet to release the tension on your hamstring when you're ready set your feet down into your first down dog in this practice walk your feet a bit closer to your hands widen your stance about mat apart and gently grab the other side of your left ankle with your right hands exhale and twist look under your arms Send your hips up and keep your belly close to your thigh. Inhale to release and go to the other side. Twist deeper as you exhale. Feel the stretch on your low back and through your upper back. And come back to the center and align yourself to your down dog or Adomukha Svanasana. On your next inhalation, sweep your right leg to the back into your tree like a dog toes pointing down and exhale open up your hips bend your knees toes pointing down gaze under your left arms recenter your leg and bring your knee to your left tricep and two more like this try to engage your core and then one more time Exhale and then hold the knee close to your belly, rounding your spine. Press through your palms, activate your core, then breathe out. Step out your right foot between your palms, coming to your low lunge. So inhale, circle your arms to the front and back. Feel the movement and your breath. On your next inhalation, cactus the arms, open up your chest. Maybe you can start to look up, feel the gentle back bend. Then interlace your fingers, press your palms for chest expansion. Feel the deep opening on your chest. Inhale to release and set your palms down and straighten your front leg. As you exhale, flex the foot and resting your hips on your heels, stretching your hamstring, keeping your belly close to your thigh. Inhale, rebending your right knee and step your right foot away to the right side. Bring your right hand inside your right foot. Exhale to twist, open chest to the right. Bending the left leg and catch and hold your left ankle. Straighten your right arms as you open your chest to the right side. Stay here or bring your heels closer to your butt to deepen the stretch on your quads. And then inhale slowly, release and return your right foot to the center. Come into runner's lunge and kick your right leg back to three like a dog slowly plant your right foot to meet your right back to adomukha svanasana second side three like a dog on your left foot
flexing your left foot, open hips and bend the knee, stretching your arms and press firmly your palms. Exhale, knee to your right tricep. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, fire up your core and then twist. One more like that. Inhale, back to your three-legged dog, squaring your hips. Exhale, and then bring your knee to nose and hold. Stretch your upper back like you're doing on your cat and call. Exhale to step your left foot down, release your right knee down. Again, circle your arms to the front and back to stretch your arms and bring your awareness to your breath. And then roll your shoulders to the back for the chest expansion. Press your palms, squeezing your shoulders blades. Inhale to release plant your palms down exhale send your hips to the back for half split flex the foot for hamstring stretch feel your core and your quads muscle really engaging in here slowly bending your left knee step your left foot a bit to the left and bring your arms inside your legs exhale and peel open your chest to the left Bending your right leg and grab the other side of your right foot or right ankle for chest expansion. And then pull your right foot to your hips for quad stretch. Inhale, pull your right foot to your hips for quad stretch. And then slowly release, plant your palms, come back to your runner's lunge. And slowly sweep your left leg to the back to your three-legged dog and plant your foot down to downward dog. And very slowly walk your hands to the back, keep your legs hips apart, grab the opposite of your elbows into ragdolls. You can sway your body from side to side, bring your butt high to release the tension on your lower back. Inhale to flat back, fingertips down, exhale, melt your heart to your thigh. One more like that. And then inhale slowly, walk your palms again. To the front of your mat and realign yourself into your downward dog. Inhale, come high on your toes, slide your body forward, shoulders passing your wrist, come to high plank and then exhale lower down to your chaturanga or low push up. Slowly lower everything down on your mat, untuck your toes and bring your fingertips like a cup. Inhale, lifting up your chest, keep your hips stay on the floor, stretching your upper back, open up your chest. Exhale and release down. Inhale to lift up, strengthen your upper back. Exhale to release down. Now straighten your arms to the back, palms facing down. On your next inhalation, lifting up your legs, your arms and your chest. So working on your glutes and your thigh muscle. Squeezing your tricep, feel the burn and inhale, reach your arms to the front. Cactus the arms, squeezing your shoulders blades as you exhale. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to squeeze. So three more times. Inhale and then exhale. And then slowly hold, keeping your palms and legs lifting up. So you're really working on your muscle. Exhale to release, bring your palms beside your chest. Inhale, come into your low cobra. Press yourself back into your high plank and we'll meet on your down dog. Now walk your feet to the front of your mat. Bring your big toes to touch. Inhaling to Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale to Uttanasana, forward fold. Again, inhale, flat back, look to the front. Exhale to fold. And then breathe in, slowly roll up, come into stand with arms beside your body, palms facing forward. So find your mountain pose or Tadasana. You can close your eyes, feel the breath, find your focus on today's practice. Activate your standing pose by engaging your core, pressing your feet and spread the toes, squeezing the glutes and your thigh, keeping your chest open to the front. Now inhale, reach your arms up, right arms down, left arms up. So grab your left wrist and stretch to the right side as you exhale and send your left hips to the left. 
Feel the nice stretch on your side body. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Bring your right arms up, left arms down beside your body. Grab and catch the right wrist. Stretch your right side. Chest open to the front and keep breathing. Return to the center as you inhale. Now join the palms and exhale. Give a gentle back bend. Send your hips to the front, biceps stay beside your face, stretching and bending through your upper back. Inhale, come back to the center, exhale and dive down to forward fold. Inhale to flat back, chest open. Exhale, hop or step back to vinyasa, plank to chaturanga, cobra or up dog, and we'll meet on down dog. Pressing through your palms, stretching through your upper back, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale to kick your right leg back into three like a dog. Exhale and open up your hips, right knee facing up. Exhale and then bring your knee to your chest, round the upper back. Really stretch through your spine. Inhale to three like a dog. Exhale, bring your knee to your left tricep. Inhale, three like a dog, right knee to right tricep. On your next inhalation, step your right foot between your palms. Now set your left foot 45 degrees on the ground and inhale to raise up to warrior one. Bending your front knee, keep your right ankle under your right knee. Inhale, stretch your arms to the side, palms facing up. Exhale, arms stretch to the front. Inhale, extend to the side and exhale, reach arms overhead. Say on your warrior one. Exhale, plant your palms down and extend your front leg into pyramid pose. So shorten your stand, lifting up your back toes, melt your heart to your thigh. So inhale, straighten your right leg to the back to your three-legged dog. Exhale, return and come back to down dog. Now second side, left side. Inhale, left leg up and back to three-legged dog. Exhale, open up hips, toes pointing down. Inhale to three like a dog. Exhale, knee to chest, round the spine. Inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Inhale to kick back. Exhale, knee to left tricep. And then release your left foot between your palms. Plant your right foot on the ground. Inhale and raise up to warrior one, keeping your hips square as your chest facing forward. Inhale and then extend your arms to the side, palms facing up. Exhale and stretch to the front. Inhale, open to the side. Exhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, step your palms down and straighten your front leg into pyramid. Shorten your stance and stand on your back toes. Melt your belly to your thigh. Deep breathing in here to help the stretch on your spine and hamstring. Inhale to lift up the chest and sweep your left back to three like a dog. Exhale back to your down dog. Now look to the front, bend the knees, hop or step to the front of your mat between your palms. Inhale flat back. Exhale fold. Inhale come and raise to your upward salute. Exhale tadasana. Inhale circle your arms up. Exhale twist to the right, extend your arms. Left arms front, right arms back. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, use your core to twist to the left. Go pass over your shoulders. Inhale to center. And then exhale, gentle back bend as you peel open your chest. Keep your hands overhead, push your hips up, and strengthen your back muscle. Inhaling, come up and exhale, dive down to Uttanasana. Inhale to Ardha, and then Vinyasa plank or jump to chaturanga, cobra or up dog, choose your options and back to downward dog. Find your alignment on your downward dog. Keep your hips up and your arms straighten, press your palms firmly. Inhale, kick your right leg back to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest, round your spine. Inhale, sweep back to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to left tricep, then set your right leg down to fallen triangle. Press through your right palms, reaching your left arms up, and push your hips up. Inhale, plant your palms down and back to three-legged dog. 
Exhale, knee to chest, then set your right foot down and inhale, raise up to warrior one. Exhale, extend your arms to the side and then inhale, extend to the front. Exhale, arms overhead and open to warrior two on your inhale. Open arms like a T-shape, palms facing down, bending your front knee. Exhale and then reverse your warrior. Grab your thigh or your calves, stretching through your right side. Inhale, return to warrior two, straighten your front leg, bring your toes slightly pointing to the side. Exhale and then squat down, feel the burn on your thigh. Slowly cactus your arms, open chest, and then inhale, come up to star. Exhale and then slowly squat down, arms extend to the side. Inhale to star, exhale and back to warrior two, rebending your front knee. And slowly make a big circle, set your palms down and back to three like a dog. And then exhale, back to downward dog. Same movement, kick back your left leg into three like a dog. Exhale, knee to chest, core engage. Inhale, kick back, three like a dog. Exhale, knee to tricep and straighten your left leg, passing through your hands chest open, right arms up, press firmly through your left palms. Exhale, set your right palms down and back to three like a dog. Exhale, knee to chest and set your left foot between your palms. Come up to warrior one on your inhale. Extend your arms to the side on your exhale. Inhale, extend to the front and exhale, bring your arms overhead. Now inhale, open to warrior two. Open up your hips, strong legs, and then reverse your warrior on your next exhalation. Grab your thighs or calves, bending through your front leg. Return to warrior two on your inhale. Straighten your front leg, inhale to stars, arms overhead, palms to touch, then squat down on your exhale. Engage your core, your glutes, and thigh. Breathe deeply as you squat down. Inhale, pointing your right toes, exhale, and release. Inhale, pointing your left toes, exhale, to release. And inhale, pivot on your both toes, feel the stretch on your ankle, working on your calf's muscle. Inhale, slowly straighten your legs and come up. Exhale, to release, set your feet down, back to warrior two, in front of your mat. And then cartwheel down on your inhale, Kick your left leg to three like a dog and exhale, set your feet down to your downward dog. Slowly bend the knee, look to the front of your mat, jump or step to the front between your mat. Inhale to flat back, exhale and fold. Raise up and come to upward salute. Exhale, palms down and come to Tadasana. Inhale, arms up, exhale and melt your heart. Inhale, look up, spine straight. Exhale to Vinyasa, Cobra or Up Dog. And then we'll meet in Downward Dog. So keep moving with your breath. Now we're gonna prepare ourselves for three-legged dog on your right leg. So straighten your right leg to the back, open up your hips, gaze under your left, and slowly set your right foot down to the left into wild thing. Pivot on your toes, press your right palms and breathe deeply into your lungs as you open chest to the sky. Inhale, slowly flip back, set your right palms down, bring your knee to chest and step it between your palms. Now come up into high lunge on your inhale, find your strong legs, squaring your hips. Now open up to warrior two on your inhale, gaze to the front, reverse your warrior on your exhale. And inhale back to warrior two, set your right palms down inside your right foot into side angle, stretching your left arms up. Inhale, come to warrior two, drop your body to the left into skandhasana, straighten your right leg, flex the foot. Inhale, side lunge on the right side, maybe join your palms in front of your chest. And then bring your body in the center, come into wide squat. On your inhale, engage your core and with your strong legs, raise up to stars. Bring your heels behind your toes, squaring your hips and slowly hinge down from the hips into a straddle stretch. Grab the ankle and hold. Maybe crown of the head on the ground. 
Inhale to flat back, walk your hands to the right, come into runner's lunge. And kick back your right leg, exhale to Ekapada Chaturanga. Low push up with the one leg, shoulder passing through your wrist, bend the elbow, come into upward dog, and exhale press back to downward dog, stretching through your spine. Walk feel like a dog on the left side, open up your hips, toes pointing down. And then exhale, slowly flip your body to the right while thing on the left side. Come on your toes, peel open up your chest, left arms overhead, lift up your hips high. Exhale, back set your palms down, knee to chest, and step it between your palms. Inhale, slowly come high on your toes to high lunge, bending your left knee, angle your ankle in line with your knee, and slowly open to warrior two on your inhale. Open your hips to the side. Reverse your warrior on your exhale, stretching to your right side. Inhale back to warrior two and come to Utita Parsva Konasana. Left palms down, right arms up. Maybe you can look up. Inhale, come to warrior two and side lunge on the right side. Straighten your left leg for hamstring stretch. Inhale, side lunge to the other side and flex the foot. Palms in front of your chest. And inhale, come into wide squat, keep your tailbones down, engage your core. Toes slightly pointing to the side. Now interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, and straighten your arms forward. Inhale, bring your arms overhead as you straighten your legs. Exhale and squat down, use your core. Two more like this. Feel the burn on your thigh. Inhale, come to center, extend your arms to the side, palms facing down. Slide your body from side to side, squeezing your thigh and glutes. Now come into stars, heels behind your toes, arms up. Interlace your fingers behind back. And then exhale and fold. Press your palms, squeeze your shoulders blades, spine and back, neck nice and long. Slowly release on your next inhalation. Set your palms down and twist open to the right side. Left palms down, right arms up. Use your core to twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist to the left, reaching your left arms up. Inhale to center and walk your hands to left. Come into runner's lunge and kick back your left leg. Exhale down to Ekapada Chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog or cobra and exhale gently press yourself back into your Adomukha Svanasana or downward dog. Now press through your palms, look to the front of your mat, bend the knees, jump or step to the front between your palms. Inhale to flat back, exhale to fold. Inhale to chair, lower down your hips, squat down, weight on your heels, arms overhead, palms facing each other. Now join your palms down to your heart. Using your core, exhale to twist to the right. Bicep on thigh, gazing, passing your shoulders. Inhale to center, exhale, twist to the left. Press your tricep to open your chest. Inhale to come back to center. Sweep your arms to the back. Inhale and then reach your arms up and exhale into fold. Inhale to flat back, spine long. Exhale and then vinyasa, moving with your breath. And then we'll meet on the dog. Press yourself up and back, straighten your arms, legs, hips apart. Stretch your spine and upper back. Inhale, kick your right leg back to three eye dog. Exhale, bring your knee to chest and step your right foot down. Inhale, come high on your high lunge. Squeeze your glutes, strong legs, bending your front knee. And slowly straighten your right leg and open to warrior two on your next inhalation. Exhale, reverse your warrior, and then inhale, slowly set your right palms down into side angle. Inhale to side angle, press your tricep to your thigh. Now slowly inhale, bring your right fingertips in front of your right foot. Grab your left waist and look down, lean forward, and kick your left leg to the back, flex the foot, open your chest, squaring your hips, maybe reaching your left arms up. 
slowly inhale using your core drop your left foot come into wide squat inhale two stars exhale side lunge to the left side inhale to center and exhale side lunge to the right side inhale squaring your hips back to the front of your mat release your left knee down untuck your toes and press your left palms down peel open your chest to the right side reaching your right arms to the back inhale back to the front step your right foot a bit to the right lower down on your forearms come into lizard pose keep hugging your right knee to your right shoulders and feel the deep stretch on your quads inhale back on your palms and then set your right palms to the outside of your right leg angle your right leg 90 degree bring your right knee to your right wrist right ankle to your left wrist into pigeon pose set your hips down squaring your hips take a moment in here to find your alignment keep your back leg straight toes pointing down and when you're ready you can melt down extend your arms to the front resting your belly to your thigh releasing any tension on your lower back and breathe deeply in this pose to come up slowly walk your hands to the back bend the left leg set your left knee to your right heels so your legs like a pinwheel now set your right palm down behind your hips press firmly and lifting up your hips and chest as you're reaching your left arms overhead inhale slowly set everything down now crossing your left foot to the right side your right heels close to your butt keeping your sit bones down inhale to reach up and exhale twist from your upper back to the left gently pressing your right elbow to your left knee left palms behind your hips look behind your back without changing the alignment grab the other side of your left ankle or your calves with your right hand and on your next inhalation straighten your leg to the front maybe left arms reach to the back feel the deep twist now turn your body to the center grab and interlace your fingers on your left foot and when you're ready inhale straighten your leg exhale bring it closer to your belly stretching your hamstring and spine inhale slowly gently release come into janu sirsasana straighten your left leg to the front open your right knee to the right side sole of the feet close to your left inner thigh inhale to reach your arms up exhale and forward fold flex the foot you can grab the calves ankle or foot keep your spine nice and long in here inhale to come back straighten your both legs feet flex press your hips and thigh down inhale reach your arms up and exhale fold and melt your heart stretching through your spine keeping your belly close to your thigh and engage inhale slowly come to seated roll over your knees jump or step back to chaturanga cobra or up dog and then we'll meet on downward dog stretching through your spine straighten your arms send your hips up and high now same movement on the other side second side three-legged dog on your left kick your left leg back and then exhale bring your knee to chest and step your left foot down come up on high lunge on your inhalation bending your front knee keep your legs strong and then inhale slowly open to warrior two exhale and then reverse your warrior inhale come back to warrior two and set your left palms down into side angle chest open to the right maybe you can look up and then slowly inhale look down grab your right waist walk your right fingertips to the front of your left foot use your core balance on your left leg kick and straighten your right leg flex the foot maybe reach your right arm up now slowly come into wide squat on your next inhalations join your palms squat down engage the core inhale come and raise into stars exhale and then squat down inhale and then come into skandasana on the right side maybe you can extend your arms to open up your chest look up stay in here or go for a bind for deep stretch on your chest and upper back 
open your right hips to the right side press your thigh down and flex the foot inhale to release and skandasana on the other side straighten the leg flex the foot again choose your options stretch the arms or go for a bind for chest expansion breathe deeply in this pose for more deep stretch on your upper back and hamstring and then slowly release the bind on your next inhalation squaring your hips back to the front of your mat bring your right knee down toes pointing down angle your left foot to the left and set your left palms down and twisting to open your chest to the left Inhale back to the front, lower down your forearms to lizard pose, keeping your left knee close to your left shoulders. Gaze down, stretching through your spine. Gaze down and engage your core. Inhale, slowly come back on your palms, come into pigeon pose. So set your left palms to the outside of your left leg. Keep your shin parallel with your mat, find your 90 degree angle left knee to left wrist left ankle to right wrist so squaring your hips bring your tailbones down stay in here or lower down on your belly lengthen through your spine through your upper back and neck feel the deep stretch on your hips and quads release any unwanted emotions and tension and deep breathing in here find the lengthen on your spine and slowly take a moment to come up angle your right knee to meet your left heels set your left palms down behind your hips and slowly lifting up your hips and chest as you're reaching your left arms overhead inhale and come back to seated pose sit on your seat bones come to half floor of fishes cross the right foot to the outside of your left thigh inhale to reach up exhale twist it to the right press your left tricep to your right knee feel the chest expansion in here using your core to deepen your twist on your next inhale grab your right ankle or outer side of your right foot and stretch your leg to the front extend your right arms to the back and peel open your chest to the right side feel the deep stretch on your hamstring now turn your body to the center grab or interlace your fingers on your right foot and inhale as you straighten your leg stay here or exhale bring it closer to your belly elbows open to the side slowly drop your right leg down and flex the foot left knee open to the side sole of the feet meet your inner right thigh inhale to reach your arms up exhale and then fold forward belly close to your thigh stretching through your spine keep pressing your right thigh and flex the foot to deepen the stretch on your hamstring on your next inhalation straighten your legs and slowly walk your palms behind your hips set your wrist and shoulders align each others look to the front and as you inhale gently press your palms lifting up the chest straighten your legs come into reverse plank squeeze your glutes and thigh roll over your shoulders to the back and if your neck is okay look to the back engage your core to lift up the hips return to the center use your core muscle to send your hips to the back passing over your wrist press firmly onto your palms straighten your legs keep your legs strong this pose is really great to fire up your core inhale to release and come to the middle of your mat bend the knee slowly sit and balance on your sit bones lifting up both legs into 90 degree angle use your core to engage come into boat pose you can stay here or straighten your legs arms beside your body now interlace your fingers release your index fingers twisting to the right and fire up your core as you extend your arms to the right inhale to center exhale twist to the left and 10 times like this on your own so we are really working on our core and thigh muscle in here keep breathing and twisting to the right and to the left as you exhale if you're done release your arms beside you and back to boat pose 
On your next exhalation, lower down to low boat, legs straight to the front, toes pointing. Core engage, lifting up the upper back. Inhale to boat, exhale to low boat. So three times like this, fire up and strengthen your core. And then stay on your low boat, reach your arms overhead, looks towards your belly, working on your core and keep everything engaged. On your next exhalation, slowly bring your knee to chest to release the tension on your lower back and your core. Now straighten your left leg, flex the foot, hug your right knee to your ribs. Extend your right leg, flex and point the ankle to release any tension. And then slowly point the toes, grab the ankle or calves. Exhale and slowly bring the right leg close to your belly. Feel the stretch on your hamstring. Inhale to release arms beside you. Straighten your right leg to the sky, lifting up your left leg and then crunch for five times. Keep engage your lower belly and pull your upper back. Now straighten your right leg and flex the foot. Hug your left knee to your ribs. Extend your right leg up to the sky. Flex and point the toes for ankle stretch. And then slowly straighten your left leg. Grab the ankle or calves. Feel the nice stretch on your hamstring. And slowly bring it closer to your belly on your next exhalation. Inhale to release arms beside you. Straighten your left leg up and lifting up your right leg and then crunch for five times in here. So really engage your core and pull yourself up. And then slowly inhale, bring both legs up, lower back down. Keep your spine long and neutral. And then scissors your legs one by one for 10 times using your core to engage and squeeze your thigh to lift up the leg and protect your lower back. Keep straight on your leg and use your lower belly to lift up your legs ups and downs. Now join your heels together, open your knees to the side and then pistol your hands. And then slowly lifting up your upper back and crunch for 10 times. Set your lower back down so you really use your core muscle to lift up yourself. Look to the front and fire up your core. Inhale to release. Set your feet down with arms beside you, palms facing down. Come into bridge pose, gently lifting up your hips, your low back and middle back. For chest expansion, interlace your fingers behind your low back, roll your shoulders down, keep your triceps stay on the ground. Inhale to lift up your chest, keep your back neck relaxed. You can stay on your bridge pose or come into wheel. Slowly lower down your hips, set your palms beside your head, keep your elbows facing up. Press onto your feet and with the help of your breath, gently press your palms, lifting up the hips, crown of the head on the ground and slowly lifting up your chest and press yourself up into wheel pose. Straighten your arms, roll over your shoulders to the back, keep your chest open up to the sky. Release the tension on your neck and look to the back. To come back, slowly release your crown of the head down, lower down your upper back, middle back, low back, and hips. Hug your knees and round your spine to release the tension on your low back. Release your arms beside you with palms facing down, straighten your legs, inhale to roll over your legs to the back into plow pose. Toes pointing down, keep your back neck and shoulder relaxed and deep breathing in here to feel the relaxation and stretch on your upper back and your hamstring. Roll over your legs to the front, bend the knee, open your hips to happy baby. You can grab the inner side of your feet, open your knees to the side and press your thigh to your belly to deepen the stretch. Low back stay on the ground. Release your happy baby, come into reclined pigeon on your right side. Set your right ankle on top of your left knee, feet flex. Grab the shin, knees or inner thigh. To deepen the stretch, press your thigh to your chest on your exhale. Keeping your shoulders away from your ears, relaxing your low back. 
Inhale to release the bind, extend your arms to the side, palms facing down, and drop your right leg to the left, deep twisting from your upper back. Inhale, back to the center, and recline pigeon to the other side. Bend the right knee, angle your left ankle to your right knee, flex the feet, and wrap your hands to your shin, knees, or your thigh behind your leg. Inhale to release, bend the left knee to the right, and gently press with the help of your right palms, straighten your right leg and twist, look over to the left. Feel the stretch on your low back and your hips. Inhale, back to center and come into our final resting pose, into our Shavasana. So extend your legs to the front of your mat, with arms resting beside your body, palms facing up. Bring your awareness to your body and to your breath. Release any tension in your body and without forcing anything, release the breath. Let it flow into natural rhythm. Begin to start calm the mind and bring your awareness to the present moment and to your breath. If you have more time, I would encourage you to stay more longer in Shavasana for about 2 up to 3 minutes. Slowly bring your awareness back, gently move your toes, your fingers, your ankle, your wrist, and move your head from side to side. On your next inhalation, stretch your arms overhead and stretch your legs like a morning stretch. Exhale, bend and hug your knees, rocking from side to side. And then roll over to the right side, take your right arms as a pillow, your left hand in front of your chest slowly and come back to comfortable seated pose with your eyes closed take a few deep breath in here and let yourself settle down i hope today's practice brings more positive energy you want to attract in your life thank you for practicing and sharing your energy with me today namaste if you like this yoga practice please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe